What's going on everybody and welcome back to Northern Valley. So in this episode, we're going to go ahead and work across the main road from what we did in the last episode. So uh, the two videos are going to be kind of contrasted a little bit in that the previous video, we did a lot of single family like suburban building. And in this episode, we're actually going to do a lot more with the high density stuff. But We'll get to that in a little bit. What we're doing on the screen right at this moment is doing something that we haven't done at all in this city, and that is put a cargo or freight train line in. Uh, yeah, we haven't really done much of that at all. We are planning on doing a really cool harbor at some point in this series, so stay tuned for that. We're going to be doing a really cool area where we're going to have a nice big harbor, and we're also going to have a bunch of uh, cargo depots for, for the rail line to kind of hook up and link up there. So I'm really excited for that. I can honestly say I don't really know when that's gonna go, uh, when we're gonna go ahead and do that, but uh, we will get to it eventually. There are so many big projects left in this series before we finally call it quits on Northern Valley. And I know just mentioning calling it quits might alarm some people, but don't freak out. It's not going anywhere. Although I will at the end of this episode have a disclaimer about uh, the, immediate future of this series and it has to do with the new DLC that's coming out so l look for that at the end of the episode we'll explain more there but uh, well, let's just go ahead and talk about what we've been doing thus far well I guess I have been talking about that we're just linking up this really small cargo line and the weird thing about this is by all accounts it's operating normally but for some reason I haven't seen a single train go into this area so I don't know if uh the people in the city just aren't importing stuff or if it's like a broken asset it is a custom asset as you can tell but uh i just i don't know what's going on with it i'll have to look at that in uh the future here and see if i can get that to fix itself but we had to relocate this highway so this highway dead ended into that bridge before you saw we had to actually tweak that bridge a little bit using the move it tool to just kind of get it into the right place to allow for us to put this custom train station down here now i will say that i wasn't really excited about the way that this highway kind of turned out in the last episode i mean after a while i was okay with it but truth be told i wasn't a huge fan of the way it was it was kind of awkward uh it just kind of there were some like one-way streets going on there it was really strange but i i don't know if i like it even after this episode i think there's something about it that's just kind of weird i never really know how to end a highway you know uh i think having the network extensions mod and giving us the extra like two lane highway kind of makes more sense to end than like a, a three or four lane just dead ending into a suburban area but yeah this this is kind of weird but we eventually go ahead and pull this highway into just one really big intersection in what is eventually going to be a big industrial sector of the town now i had probably talked about this a few times before in the series but i wasn't really intending on doing any um I guess industry down here in the actual city limits I guess but uh, it just it, it seemed like something we needed to do and truth be told this whole area was kind of spurred on by your guys comments I mean I've had so many comments of people requesting that we build like a, a ghetto in the area and I mean I guess so far I'll talk about this a little bit later during the live portion but so far we've built kind of this like really awesome city there's really not like a lot of like rundown areas but i felt like this area in particular could have been that for us so i figured why not we let's just go ahead and do it and we'll just kind of mix in the residential into the industry and it'll just give it that really interesting like not straight up ghetto but like a really low income i guess kind of area for the city and i I really love how this area comes out, even though it's supposed to be that like really run down kind of like slummy area. Uh, it's just it's it's got a weird character to it in the end here. You'll see as this build progresses, it just it's got something that's completely contrasted to the rest of the city. And I'm going to say contrasted a lot, I guess. But yeah, it's just the city's been that whole like ideal just really nice clean city with a lot of like high-tech uh i guess buildings going on and like the whole i don't want to say meta but like the whole lore of the city was that it was a high-tech 
city, and like Nova Tech is just an example of that so far. But this area, it, it's it's got its own unique charm, and we do that with a lot of the detail work that we eventually will put in down here. But you'll see that as we progress. But before we can do that, we actually put a park system, uh, not a park system, but more like a plaza right next to that whole Capitol building. And I know it's kind of weird to have like the Capitol of the the city or the the district if you will right in like this kind of transition between a really nice and a really run down kind of area but it, it just felt like the right place to put it and it's it's not like a, an abandoned area you know there's definitely people living here there's just a lot of people living here and i think that's something about it but you're seeing the residential kind of grow in the background as we're building around it and the one thing that I want to say is I, I did a lot of theme managing in this episode again. Now, I cut all, I think I cut all of that out of this episode because it's just, especially in a time lapse, it's, it's kind of a weird thing to watch me go through a, a whole list of assets and click on things. And you, you're not going to see anything of what I'm like deciding on. So I, I decided to cut that out. But uh, this whole area, it only has level one and two buildings in it. It's not... A, it's not an area that's gonna grow up and like level up. It's intentionally gonna be like this kind of lower income area. And I've, I've said that a lot so far, but uh, just using the theme editor, we were able to pick some of these buildings and they all have this like unique charm to them. They're all wall to wall buildings. So they're, they're directly next to each other. There's no yards on either side. There's no real parking on either side. The parking's usually in the back or in the front of these, which is why you're seeing a lot of the, uh, the alleyways that we're putting in here. But uh, they're, they're all also, that's a really weird way to say that. They are all um, <laughs> brick and like rundown cement, or not even rundown, but just like those bland cement buildings. And it just, there was something about the way this whole district came about. It was just a lot of behind the scenes planning. And it, it goes back to what we did in the last episode, just finding assets that I thought fit what I was going for in this area, and then making sure I used the zones the correct way. So I was, I was really focused on getting only a uh, three deep uh, zone, if that makes sense. Like there's three units back from the road, which is why you're seeing the alleyways split it where the, it does. But yeah, all of these buildings are measured out properly and they're all growing the correct way. And actually across the main road, I, I grabbed that as part of this district. So all of the high rises like surrounding that main road are all gonna be in the same theme, which was kind of important to me when I was looking at that. I didn't want the main road to have like one side of like really high, like level five housing, and then the other side to just be like this this slummy area. It, it all kind of blends together and blending is something that I've, I've said before in my series, but it's something that's so, so important when you're playing games like this. You want to blend your projects together to get them to look like it's all one coherent city. It doesn't look like you just kind of stopped one day and you came back and this is where you picked it up again, if that makes sense. But yeah, we're just going through. Uh, really, it was just a lot of, of road planning in this episode. A lot of just kind of placing the residential zones and then letting them grow. But uh, we did find this one interesting thing and that is that church that we just put down. We'll talk about that a little bit more as the time lapse and into the actual live portion goes on. But uh, yeah, we haven't really touched churches at all, but it's just, uh, it was one of those things that I, I found to fill some, fill some space. And I, I really love how that area came out. But before we go into that, we're actually going ahead and putting some of this industrial in. Now I did talk about this a little bit earlier, but yeah, a lot of, well, not a lot. There's a really good mix of ploppables that you just saw me put down and then growables. So just, putting uh, these these industry buildings that are able to like grow naturally in the city, that was kind of important because I wanted this place to not look so, I guess, like planned out. I wanted some of it to be sort of organic, had that like organic feel to it. So I, again, with the theme editor, I went through and I picked out the industry buildings that I thought looked good around here. And it's a lot of like, uh, I guess, American style, like machine shops that you'd see, just those, those brick buildings that, you know, has some sort of heavier or maybe even light industry, but it's just, uh, it's there and it's kind of indescript in a sense, but 
uh, yeah, it's just, it, this whole area looks so good, and tying the ro the railroad together with it, uh, it's, it's such a good industrial area. Now, you're gonna see us go through in a little bit here, and actually, well, we're detailing now, but, uh, you're gonna see us use a lot of the road decals, and I will talk about that as we go through it, but it just makes that whole district look so, so unique, so good. But before we do that, we're just going ahead and putting some detail work in this plaza. And it's right behind that police station. You saw me actually pull a police station over here. I noticed we didn't actually have a police station around here, and I figured we probably need one. So, uh, why not put one in, I guess. But we're just going through here and filling out some of the nature. Now, I will talk about nature in the live portion a bit. But I didn't want to use, like, as much nature as we did in the last episode. This whole side of the street is supposed to be that like concrete jungle kind of feel in a sense so just a little bit of nature went into this area just to blend it again uh, blend it into the other area again blending it's very important but uh, we're going through here and detailing this church a little bit it's on a corner it's very interesting i i love how this kind of came out there's it's just it's got its own unique place and i feel like it's a unique asset and it was it just fits so well in this area so just putting some parking lots in here to fill that really awkward kind of cement space i didn't really know what what else to do around here so uh those those parking lots were kind of important to just fill this up uh, again there wasn't really like there's not going to be people walking on that cement even though it's cement it's not actually like a path so it was just going to be empty so just having this ready for those people to come park and uh, I guess go to church is is kind of just a nice way to fill that area. Now, what we're doing at the moment is what I was just talking about a little bit ago, and that is filling this whole area in with the decals. Now, there was so much of this, and I just, I, I kind of went overboard, and you'll see that <laughs> reflected in the uh, frames per second when we get in the live portion. There's just so much going on here that the game is, is getting to the point where it's kind of like a slideshow. But we're just making these streets look a little bit more worn down than they are kind of in the vanilla street. So a lot of a lot of cracks, a lot of repairs, a lot of kind of halfway repaired roads where there's still like a ton of potholes. But, you know, someone's trying to keep up with it. It's just the fact that this district is so popular or so dense. And the other thing is that the, the industry brings so many, like, heavy trucks and stuff that the roads just inevitably get like this and they just can't keep up. That's kind of the whole mentality I had going through and detailing this. And what we're doing right now is actually one of my favorite things in this area. And this is this one cobblestone street. Now, I found these, these decals and they are so awesome. And they even came with a decal that was like a halfway cobblestone street. So I will show that off um, more in the live portion, but it, again, it's just such a really unique street in this city. And it's one of those things that like you would never notice unless you really dig down and you find the roots of the city and you just look like, just, just carefully look and you see like, oh wow, this street is really its own unique thing, even though there's really nothing else going for it. Like, it's not unique in the fact that it's got, like, really cool buildings on it or anything. It's just that. Just the decals. And it was so, so nice to do. But, yeah, we're just going through. And I eventually resort to the prop line tool to just put some, like, skid marks, some wear and tear on these roads. And it's just, it's so good. Like, it, it, this whole place has its own character. Here we go with the cobblestone right now. But, yeah, just the, this road system was just, it, it took a while, I'm not gonna lie, it was a lot of mindless, just kind of detailing work, but I, I knew it was gonna crash the game, well not crash the game, but the game was just gonna slow to a halt, but I just, at this point, I feel like in this series, we're building more of like a screenshot than we are like a playable game, I think that's the mentality you have to get when you get into like, builds like this, and that is, you're not going to play this fluently. You're going to pause the game. And I do think that I work with the game on pause a lot. And that's probably why I don't really care all that much about frame rate. But yeah, you're just going to you're going to create a living picture, I think. So I love doing that in this game. But uh, we had these kind of awkward spaces in this build. Like what we're doing right now is just 
filling it with cement and turning it into a parking lot in the back of these apartment buildings. So there's just a couple weird spaces where there's just like there wasn't really a good spot to do like a, a zoned area where buildings would grow. But the one unique thing about this was that there was that uh, car wash next to that gas station and there was a entrance on one side and this is the exit. So I figured we'll go ahead and tie that into this whole area. We'll put the parking lot in and then we'll go ahead and put an exit to the car wash so people would enter from the front of the gas station and then have to leave from behind it. And I really love how this all kind of turned out. It was such a nice little, just, I, I guess, touch that, again, you would never notice unless you just saw it, like, out of the out of the blue and be like, wow, this is such a cool little area. But it's just little things like this that I love this game for. It's those little moments that you can create that just turn it into this... I guess, masterful experience, if you will. But uh, yeah, we're just going through and putting some of these these fences up. And I've been using a lot of fences throughout the city, but I think a lot of times I've been using the, the kind of vanilla industry fences. Uh, we kind of switched to this chain link kind of style in this area. And that's because I felt like it gave that the area more of like a, um, what a, like a, I don't know, it just it had a feel to it that was like, these fences are cheap, so this is what would go here. I don't want to like diminish the area, but at the same time, I think I am. But you know, it's it's not supposed to be that, that high level area. It's supposed to be this area where like things were, were thrown together. People live here just out of necessity or whatever, but this, it, it really just using these props just really accentuates that whole kind of feel so it's just the little things like you, you gotta when you're designing cities like this you just have to take in or take into account like those little details and and try to make try to put yourself on the street i mean like say you're you're a property owner like what would you do for this property knowing the area that it's in Again, I don't know if I want to get like so philosophical or whatever with all this kind of stuff, but I just want to, I've always wanted to kind of drop some hints of to, as to what I've done in my cities. And hopefully some of you maybe pick up some of this stuff and run with it in your cities. And that, if that happens, that's, that's mission accomplished for me. But we're going through and just doing a little bit of detail work around some of these industries, putting some of these trailers in, and then eventually moving over to this fire station, which uh, was pretty necessary around here, actually, because all of these industry buildings are pretty much essentially just a fire hazard. So we had to, I guess, negate that a little bit and uh, put some fire protection down here. So uh, again, it was one of those weird areas, like right off the highway or right off that bridge and the highway, actually. And it was just a place that nothing else was going to fit. I didn't want to put like zoned uh, properties in here, if you will. So we went ahead and filled it up with a fire station. And then the best thing that I found to do to fill up the awkward space is to just build parking lots. So uh, go ahead and do that and kind of zone this. And the one unique kind of thing about this uh, fire department is that we eventually will find an asset and plop it on the top of the building. It's, it's pretty cool because we have that, the... Uh, there we go right there. We have the mod that allows us to do that. So putting that in place really adds a little bit of, of just flair to this. I mean, it is a, a custom asset. It's a custom fire station, but even modifying it beyond that gives just that little unique character. So we're just tying in a little bit of nature. Not too much nature around here because, like I said before, I wanted that this district to kind of feel a little void of nature, but... There's another reason too, and that is that they're actually, as soon as you get into the, the pollution of the area, it turns into this really, f like, the, all of the of the trees just kind of die, and it, it doesn't look good, so just kind of avoiding that a little bit. And I actually found some of these street signs that were pretty cool that I didn't know I had, so I ended up putting those on the entrance and exits of the highway just to give it that little bit of flair. Now, there's not actually, like arrows that point the correct way on those but just from a distance it looks great so i think that's just about it we're just detailing this police station to finish it out but we will go to the live portion of this video 
Alright guys, we are live down in Northern Valley. We're going through and checking out what we just did in the time lapse. Now, I keep saying this, but uh, it's worth saying again, and that is, please excuse the horrible frame rate that we get. This game eventually just becomes a slideshow, the more detail and uh, just intricate work that you put into it. So uh, we just have to kind of live with that. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Before we get into this, though, let's check out what we actually renamed all of this stuff. So back here, the actually, let me show you the zones real fast, because this one has changed from the last episode. We're calling this Boulderwood. Now, I think I combined a few of your comments together to get that. Someone had said it uh, reminded them of Boulder, Colorado, I believe. And a couple people were saying something up, use like wood in the name, and I, I really liked that idea. So I kind of combined those. I think Boulderwood is a really interesting uh, sub, uh, a suburban kind of, I guess, name. Uh, the thing that we were working on in this episode has been named Manor Heights. Now, uh, Manor because we, I guess, I think the logic here is that we kind of have like the capital uh, building for the area down here. So that kind of gives that like regal feel and heights because it kind of feels a little bit like a, a suburban slummy kind of vibe, I guess. Uh, and then this we've renamed to Lockwood Heights. Now going back on what I just said about the slummy kind of feel, I don't know, Lockwood Heights just made sense because it's right next to like the proper Lockwood district. So that's that. And Manor Heights is what we were focusing on in this episode. So let's go ahead and just kind of hop around here. I guess the first thing you'll notice down here on this main road, if I kind of get in here and the frame rate kind of cooperates a little bit, the first thing you're going to notice is the street lamps here have been changed over from what they originally were. Now, I wanted this to kind of get that, like, old school feel, and this is really kind of just the, the start of that, just getting these lamps in here. And it just, I think it just, there's little subtle touches that you can do in this game. And street lamps is one of those things that I personally tend to, like, it's just an oversight for me, but just remembering to tweak that a little bit is just, it just adds so much to it. So uh, there's that. I also really, really love this little church. Now, I was going through here and this, this whole kind of intersection was just a very strange thing. Like, I couldn't figure out how to properly get, like, uh, some zoning through here. So I was just going through my park and, uh, I guess, custom parks... Uh, tab and I just I found this church and I, I was like you know what we really haven't done much with like a religious kind of theme at all and just having a really old church kind of in a, a, a focal point at this area like this is a couple really big main roads down here I felt like this really tied the whole thing together here this whole corner just looks great and just naturally you have like the modernization you have like the historic and then the modernization here. We just have a gas station behind it, which was actually a comment that somebody had given me in the previous episode. We kind of forgot to put gas stations around. So I think moving forward, we're gonna be remembering that a little bit more. Um, so I guess moving on from the church here, you get this really awesome little street and you guys saw me put a bunch of decals on the streets here just to give this, this whole area just that feel to it like the roads haven't really been kept up with all that well they're they're just kind of run over by industrial traffic a lot and just tons of cars coming down it so i love that but i love this street in particular this little cobblestone street it's just such a nice little touch it's right next to this church and it just gives that that really historic feel for this area and the thing that I love about this so much is the fact that the decal pack has like a little bit of a transitional uh, I guess pack to it so there's a couple like broken cobblestones so it looks like they actually paved over around here but the original cobblestone is still under these roads like you can tell that it's already been paved over but they didn't bother to tear up the cobblestone it's just still there so I love this in particular it's so awesome just that little bit of detail in this area is so good but uh yeah let's just i guess talk about quickly we'll talk about this little stretch on this main road here now this main road goes over the river 
back to the suburban areas over there. It's just another, it's actually, I think, one of the first roads that you can get off of the highway. The highway's always been kind of weird over here, where you have to get off the toll road and then swoop around this main road, and this bridge is the first one to get into the area, but I think majority of people are going to be using these other two bridges to get toward the, uh, you know, more dense areas downtown, but... Uh, I think as the population grows around here, we'll actually get more traffic going through there. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing that happen. But yeah, this main road here, we have some commercial. And I ended up putting these... I, I chose in the theme editor these specific buildings because they were kind of just that one... They had the same feel, I guess. All of the buildings kind of in this area, in Manor Heights, are kind of tucked next to each other. I, I really wanted that, like, dense population to just had that feeling of just like constantly having people next to you I guess there's something about that just it gives this area such a nice character to it and I love having these commercial buildings with that same kind of mentality and these are all kind of uh, like old school kind of downtown historic downtown kind of feel so this this whole area turned out great now you'll notice I, I think I said that I didn't want to use so much nature coming from this side to this side of this of this main road here but you'll notice that there is some nature still going on here and that's for good reason that's one of the big things that I try to do working from project to project in these games is to kind of blend things together so we actually have a lot of custom uh, I guess trees and nature going on throughout this whole district and I wanted to kind of blend that in before I kind of faded it out into just strictly that like cement feel of the city so yeah that whole kind of nature thing it feels like the nature was there like I said in the last episode it feels like nature was here and we built the city into it we didn't build nature into this city so I love having that mentality going through here but uh yeah this kind of just this whole alleyway back here has a bunch of trees kind of left over and then you get into the next street over and it's just kind of no no trees at all and then the next alleyway you get some a little bit of trees and then you get no trees. This is officially the industrial sector of this area. So uh, I, I think another point to make here is that uh, putting trees in the pollution area down here kills them instantly. Like if I go over here, you'll see that these trees are not as lush as they, as I guess say some of the trees over here that are, are fully grown out. So uh, yeah, that's kind of the nature element of everything. But yeah, just I guess moving from this main road over, you can see that transition start to happen. And then you just get into this industrial area. Now, I think I mentioned this, but I wanted this area to feel kind of, I, I, I've said slummy a lot, and I think that's a really good word to put here. Um, I, I feel like going through this series so far has been a little idealistic in at times. We have like such a nice downtown area, and in reality, the farther you get into like a city, the more people are there, which means the more, I guess, you're going to see poverty, I guess, prevalent in that area. So you'll see uh, areas in pockets in cities that are, are just like slummed down, like government type housing. And so far in this series, we really haven't done much of that. We've been pretty modern with everything that we've done and, and fairly idealistic. Like everything's just been like up and up around here. So I wanted to kind of move into something that's a little bit more down to earth in a sense. So that's kind of what we uh, got going on here. So I like just, I guess if we step back here, you can kind of see like there's a nice clean city and then over here you get sort of that pollution cloud starting and we're gonna actually carry that probably around here a little bit more uh, I'm not really sure how much of this is gonna be industry I kind of want the industry to be a little bit confined to this area and then eventually we'll go back here and have some really big industrial sectors around toward like out here which I actually get a tremendous FPS out here this is actually really nice but as soon as you look at the city it just goes into the tank but uh, yeah, we're going to continue going through here with some of the the housing kind of, I guess this style housing with the high density, but keeping it low. I wanted to keep these not like level 3 and 4 plus housing. These are all level 1 and 2 at the moment, I believe, and I love how these look around here. So I guess we're going to keep that, f I guess, feel going as we expand out to this highway. 
And then the suburban, like, the single-family homes will start to kind of mix in over here. And then eventually this will all be kind of suburban areas. So it's, it's looking like we have an actual concrete plan now, which is nice. It's something in this area that I've always kind of thought about, but I've never had, like, that concrete plan. And finally we got that. And I like where we can go from here. But let's go ahead and check out the industry just a little bit here. Now, uh, at the very beginning of the time lapse, we did this whole um, cargo station, which is functioning properly by all accounts. Um, it's just, it's operating normally. It's just nothing's coming to it. So I got to figure out what's going on with the train lines down here. Maybe there's something going on that's really s screwy or something. Uh, we're just not getting a lot of train uh, activity here. We're, we're getting no freight trains down here. So, yeah, I don't know what we're doing with that, but I'll figure that out at some point. Now, the industry is something that uh, was kind of interesting. Uh, some of these buildings, like this one here and all of these, were ploppables. I believe, yeah, all of this block here and these right here were ploppables. But the rest of these are all growable. So I actually went through and I did some uh, theme editing again. And I just kind of got some industry buildings that weren't like over the top. They kind of fit the same mold as the other buildings in this district. And when I say that, I mean like the same like concrete colors, the same brick kind of feel. So that's kind of the whole mentality throughout here. And I hope as these kind of grow up, they'll keep that same feel going here. So I, I love how this came out. I mean, just the little bit of details throughout here, like these containers and the trailers all parked next to buildings. Uh, hopefully as this area grows up, we'll kind of keep that detail. And that's some of the reason I didn't like detail all of this in here, for example, because eventually these buildings will upgrade and I wanted to get these kind of in their final state. I'll go back and kind of put some loading bays in with uh, trucks around it and stuff like that. But just uh, the the decal work on the streets in this area were so, so important. Just like all of these, these skid marks in this high, high traffic area, like all of the traffic from this highway is coming here. And I just noticed that we actually don't have a street light here. We should probably flip that on. I feel like this should definitely be a street light. Um, right there so yeah we'll we'll get that all sorted out here but uh yeah just the decals around here i love just the the rubble in the road like the road has crumbled and no one's gotten around to fixing it because there's so much else to do i guess around here but it's just it looks like there's been trucks running down this area like tractor trailers just forever and some of these main roads are just destroyed by the heavy, heavy traffic. It's just such a good look for this this kind of feel that we were going for here. So, yeah, I think uh, that's about it for what we did in this episode. I do want to mention before we kind of move on or wrap this episode up, the big mass transit patch is coming. I think tomorrow, actually, by the time I'm recording this, it will be out. So, inevitably, that means that our save will break. So, there will be mods that are just gonna break because of this new update. So, for a while on the channel, there's probably not gonna be Northern Valley. There's, it's gonna have to take maybe a month, or I, I hope not two, maybe just a few weeks. It depends on the modding community. Uh, as soon as people can up, update their mods, I'll be able to go back and start this series back up. But it'll be on hiatus for a little bit. Now, I do have planned just one or two, maybe uh, cinematic kind of like trailer just videos that'll just kind of pop up here and there uh, just to kind of keep you guys acquainted with the city, I guess. But just it might be a lot of Planet Coaster on the channel for, for a little bit. Now, don't worry. This series isn't going anywhere. If we can get the save back, we will. And I say if very loosely. I, I, I'm fully intending to recover this. But last time we had a major update, the game did break. And it took a while to get uh, the mods sorted out. So if you don't see Northern, Northern Valley for a while, that's why. Um, follow me on Twitter if you don't for more like updates on that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll leave that one here for uh, for now. So guys, uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give me a thumbs down, of course. Uh, let me know in the comments what you're excited for. Uh, if you're excited to see the new mass transit and all of the new DLC type stuff, uh, let me know in the comments. And 
until next time, I will see you back here in Northern Valley.